It has been said that imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. Well, imitation is also one of the most sincere forms of spirituality. When you try to imitate and become what God said you could, and you'll find more and more every day that you're able to rise in your ability to do this. Philippians 4 verse 9 says, Keep on doing the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Can you imagine a place where we all live in harmony with one another? A place where hunger does not exist, where discord is a thing in the distant past, where people really genuinely care for each other and, and take care of one another. That is the highest form of spirituality, not putting down another to put yourself up, but to want goodwill for all people, even when they're not like you. Such a place can exist for all of us because everything is possible through the presence and power of God. All human beings share a sacred kinship that flourishes when we recognize our abilities to share our God-given talents and time in ways that benefit not only ourselves, but also benefits the other person, even those that we do not know. There are some that scoff at such talks, saying that's Pollyanna, uh, that we should never try to think that way. It's not realistic. It's the only realistic way for human beings to strive towards. Otherwise, we have nothing but war and disasters coming towards us. We call upon in our prayer time, the faith that Jesus used to calm the waters of the sea when he proclaimed, Peace, be still. The Spirit of God will guide us to do whatever it takes to transform our dreams into reality. It will happen in each individual person, one by one. It will happen in your home and in your workplace. And as you begin to exhibit this, other people will want to imitate you.